Leave him to me. If I desired your assistance, I'd have demanded it. We had the situation under control. Isn't that right, Smee? Oh, yes, Captain, completely. We would have cleaved those fiends to the brisket, we would. Why, I'd have given them a little of this and this. And don't think your efforts mean you'll get a share of me treasure, understand? I'm not after your precious box, Captain. I'm looking for a person. A boy wearing a mask. Ring any bells? No, not a one. Figures. It's me, you blithering barnacle. We're off. We shall leave this place before the light draws them back again. Huh? Hey, hold on. What did you just say about the light? Ah, yes, it's heartbreaking, really. This chest, you see, contains light gathered from all around. And I've got an acquaintance, a boy, who's sure to try and seize it. A boy who's after the light. If it's not Venetus, then who? Hey, why don't I help you keep the light safe? Maybe you could tell me more about this boy who's troubling you. What's his name? Peter Pan! This chest must be brought to Skull Rock safely. Don't let that Peter Pan anywhere near it. Right. I got you covered.
Take that! Pardon me, Captain, but it's about that shooting star I was mentioning to ye. Mr. Smee, I ordered you to drop that. I'll not have you gushing on about some shooting star. Yeah, but, but, Captain, most shooting stars twinkle for a bit and then they go out. But this one, it, it kept on sparkling and shining even after it crashed down. Why, what if it's really a big, enormous, priceless gemstone? Idiot! Why didn't you tell me? Hmm? <clears throat> We've a bit of business to attend to and must, I fear, step away. I trust you can see to things till I return? Sure. When Peter Pan gets here, I'll be waiting. That old codfish. Looks like he's found himself a new flunky.
I'll fly down and distract him. Men, you move in and nab the treasure. Are you Peter Pan? That's me! The light is not yours to take. You won't stop me! What do you want with the light? Light? What light? Look, Pan! We got the chest! No! Not yet, you blockheads! Hey! Look! <laughs> that hurt! Oh, sorry! Now what is this? Pirate treasure, of course. Jewels, doubloons. You know, the usual stuff. I've been guarding a pile of loot? Sounds like you've been tricked. I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. Say, what's your name anyway? Tara. Right then, Tara. Which way did Hook go? They said something about a shooting star. Shooting star? Tinkerbell must be in danger! Men, guard that treasure with your lives! Aye, aye, sir! You go and get him, Pan! Well, I should be on my way. Hook! Go hide. 
Fine. All's well. What's that? Tinkerbell, one of Peter Pan's dearest friends. Can I take a look? So long as I have his precious pixie, Pan's demise is all but assured. <laughs> <laughs> What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. Just doing what my heart tells me. That's mutiny! And you'll walk the plank for it! <gasps> that sound! Every star up there is another world. Huh? Terra. Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, then. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! Much for the pirate treasures. Hmm. Did you guys really want the jewels and gold that badly? Hmm? Nah, we don't care about that stuff. Uh, but a uh, pan was counting on us. I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! yeah! Real swell idea. Thanks. <gasps> Kind of makes me wonder what I'd put in there. This light, it's so warm. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. Aqua. Then, I wonder if we'll ever be a team again. Looks like all the things that once held us together just push us further away. And now the light has led me here. What am I supposed to do? Was I guided here in order to meet that boy? Oh! Ahoy! We're over here! Riku, race ya! First one to the boat gets to be captain! 
Outside world? Huh? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here. And I know you're not from the main island. Smart kid. So how about you? What are you doing here? Oh. My friend's dad took us out on the boat. This is where we like to play. But they won't let us row out here by ourselves. Not till we get older. Must be hard, huh? Stuck in one place. I heard once, there was a kid who left for good. <laughs> so how did you get here anyway? Is there some reason you're interested in the outside world? Yeah. I want to be strong one day. Like that kid who left. He went to the outside world. I bet he's really strong now. I know it's out there somewhere. The strength that I need. Strength for what? To protect the things that matter. You know, like my friends. Outside this tiny world is a much bigger one. In your hand, take this key. So long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be, and you will find me, friend. No ocean will contain you then. No more borders around, or below, or above, so long as you champion the ones you love. Riku! Hmm? Come on, hurry it up! You gotta keep this a secret, okay? Otherwise all the magic will wear off. <laughs> hey, what was that all about? Uh, you know. Know what? Why won't you tell me? Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. Oh, there you go again. Just tell me. I really can't. I've got to keep it a secret. Not with me, you don't. I'm like the best secret keeper in the world. Nice try. <laughs> oh, Riku! Protect the things that matter. Right. My friends matter to me, too. So, I still have things that I have to protect. That light. Is it Ben? Master Terra. Find me. We must speak at once. Master Xehanort.
Master Xehanort, you wish to see me? There is no time to lose. I have terrible news. Ventress has stumbled upon the secrets of his origins. Then? I just saw him. He passed right in front of me. What happened? Ventus is on his way home. If you could have seen the fury in his eyes, I'm certain he's capable of anything. I fear the boy may attempt to force the truth out of Ericus. Master Terra, you must hurry back and see to your friend's safety. Of course. But you must exist no more! Ben! What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside! No! You will not heed your master? I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? If you don't have it in your heart to obey, then you will have to share Ventus's fate. Yeah. Yeah. Enough, Terra. He's right. Quiet. Terra. You may be my master, but I will not let you hurt my friend! Has the darkness taken you, Terra? Wait, Terra! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
What have I done? Master, I just wanted to keep Ven safe. No, you were right. I failed you, Terra. Perhaps I've no one to blame but myself for the darkness inside you. And now I've done worse. Raised my keyblade against you and Ventus. My own heart is darkness. Master Ericus. What a sight. Why do you trouble yourself with remorse, Master Terra? The man was bent on doing harm to your friend, his own pupil. <laughs> Master Xehanort, why? You know, at times I find your progress quite striking. But you still fall short. Let all that anger out, my boy! Give your heart over to darkness! What do you mean? Still so blind. Then I will make you see. Come to the place where all Keyblade wielders leave their mark on fate. The Keyblade Graveyard! There you will watch your dear Ventus and Aqua meet their ends. And the last light within you will die! need a home anymore where you're going. What? Xehanort! I won't let him hurt you. <laughs> 